What we have here is a T7500. The panel has been removed. Uh, if you're having problems with a dual processor system or if you're going to install a new processor, this is something that you should know how to do. Right now we have the CPU in there and we're having problems with the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the second processor so we can try the system without the second processor. Uh, this is a cover for the memory and the uh, in the first processors and this is a module for the second processor. What we need to remove is this cover first. Then we remove the second processor and we unplugged it. That's it. Now if we're gonna add a second processor to these units, the first thing that you need to do is to update the BIOS to the latest version. Then you will have your module already ready, same amount of memory if you can. Plug in this second processor wire. Make sure it's all the way in. Now you have to find, there's a couple of little grooves here. The second processor has to go in the grooves in order to fall into the right place. And it has to be open like this. There is a socket that is going to receive it at the bottom. Now this can get a little bit tricky, so I haven't locked it up yet. Sometimes I have to lift the second processor in order to be able to get this cover on because it's a little bit it's a little bit hard to get it in. What I'm doing right now. Uh, the angle doesn't help either. Okay. Kind of pull the wire in. Now this is not in yet. You have to clip in the front. Now it is in. Now I can finish putting the second processor all the way in and locking it. If it doesn't lock, you don't have it in the right place. Don't try to force it because you might damage the delicate pins.